<laughs> I got surprised. Hello! I don't have any makeup on, so you know what that means. I got my Ipsy bag for this month. It took a little bit longer because I used my points to get something, which is something that you can do through Ipsy, which I think is awesome. You can earn points by reviewing uh, the items that you've gotten before. You can earn points by telling people what's in your bag, your little sneak peek. Um, so, let's open it up. And ta-da! Here's our Ipsy bag for this month of November. So it is a purple bag with black hearts all over it. And then, we've got my extra thing, which is the Cake Brand Heavy Cream Intensive Hand Repair Balm. Ta-da! Zoom in even further. Wow, look at that. So, I think this cost me about 600 points. Oh, it's pretty thick. Oh yeah, that smells like Christmas. It kind of smells like peaches and cream. If it, it definitely has some sort of fruity undertone, so yay. All right, now I get to open my bag. And the first thing I will pull out is on the top. It is from the brand Scone. It is a brow wand eyebrow pencil in the color chocolate. Second thing, oh, is the paper that they always give you. All right, and then I have a nail lacquer by Inara Cosmo Beauty. Third item is called Foiled Again by The Bomb. And, oh no, it's broken. Fourth item is Arrive Dry Texturizing Spray. And my fifth and last item is Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. Alright, I'm just going to take my glasses off. Pretty thick consistency. So I'm going to need more than I originally thought I would. It dries really fast, so it's actually kind of hard to put on. Alright, let's see how we did. The next thing I will try is the eyeshadow. So, now I'm going to be trying the Foiled Again Shadow by The Bomb, and the color is in Cahoots. One thing that I would use this eyeshadow for is any sort of grunge look. Um, so I'm going to try to recreate that just a little bit just by using this one shadow and I'm going to put a little bit under the lash line to kind of see where you can go with this kind of eyeshadow. Now I don't really tend to look very good in grunge makeup but I'm going to add some eyeliner and mascara and I'll come right back and I'll show you kind of what it looks like. So let's be honest, I have never done a grunge look before and I never thought I would actually look okay in it. So leave your opinion down below if you think it looks good or not. So let's keep going. I have the Scone Brow Wand Eyebrow Pencil in chocolate and let's open it up. Okay, so number one, the packaging was really hard to open. <laughs> so let's Keep going. Okay, on the silver side. Why is it impossible to take off? Okay, so we have a triangle shaped tip, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you can see that, but if we push it out, it's at an angle. Let's see how it looks going on the eyebrows.
So far I'm actually kind of liking it. Our last two products, one is nail, one is hair. So, let's do hair. This is a dry texturizing spray. Spray where you want volume, style to desired finish, and hold. So what I'm noticing from it so far, I sprayed a little bit on my hand because that's what I do with hair sprays in general to see their actual level of hold. So it actually has a pretty nice scent. I don't know if I'm supposed to like play with my hair. So I don't know if I'm completely convinced. We'll see. All right, so those are the four items. So our last item is going to be nail polish. There we go. All right, so when I took the nail polish out, it's a little more pink than it's showing, but let's try it on my thumbnail. All right, final thoughts. Nail polish by Inara. Cosmo Beauty. I would give a four out of five. I'm not a big fan of nail polish, but this is a really pretty color. Dry texturizing spray by Oribe. I will give a four out of five because my hair looks to be doing actually pretty okay and when I mess with it, it kind of stays. So I like it, four out of five. I won't give a five out of five because it's not, you know, getting Dolly Parton big, so. All right, BB Cream by Pure Lease. I will give a three out of five. I didn't really like the consistency and it doesn't really cover as much as I need it to cover and I'm kind of a medium coverage person, but I do know that BB Cream is a light coverage. Um, I don't necessarily like how it feels on my skin, but I will say that it is pretty color and being SPF 30, good job. Brow Wand by Scone. I actually want to give this a 5 out of 5 in my opinion. In other people's opinion, that might not be the same. But in my opinion, I do like being able to um, apply my eyebrows pretty light. And I like the consistency of the pencil. I like that they add the little brow brush. Foiled Again Eyeshadow by The Bomb. I liked it. I like the color. I think it'd be very great for kind of a grunge look or a very editorial look. Um, <laughs> I'll give it a 4 out of 5. I wouldn't say it's the best eyeshadow for blue eyes. I like the formula of the shadow. Um, the only thing that I was kind of bummed about is it being broken. But that's not their fault, obviously. And I would probably like to try some of the other colors because I think that would be fun. I like the foiled effect. I think it looks nice. This would probably be really nice for a night out. Um, so yeah, 4 out of 5. All in all, most of my products from my Ipsy bag for this month were about a 4 out of 5, so good job, Ipsy. Alright, that is my Ipsy bag for this month. I hope to hit it again with next month, and it'll be fun. So hopefully soon I'll be able to post something um, about Christmas makeup looks. Let me be a cliche, like, subscribe if you'd like to. If you didn't like the video, dislike it, whatever. Leave me some comments, some constructive criticism, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye! Happy Thanksgiving! Because my glasses are off. And I don't want to look like that. Good? Cut. Blah, blah, blah. Things you don't want to know. Doesn't matter.